I was really excited. And then of course I looked up the, the playing guide and the guy was like, this is the hardest character to play. And I was like, that's what she said about my fast character. They can't all be the hardest one to play. Right. Okay, let's see. My character. Oh yeah, what's your new character's name? So I can put it in. I don't know yet. Uh, what should her name be? She's a Sunkeeper Valrath. Oh, no. About Valerie. <laughs> or Valerie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very um <laughs> original. I <laughs> love it. If I was geekier, I would choose Valkyrie, but <laughs> she's just more plain than that. Valerie. <laughs> Oh, I don't get to choose a class here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. How do you add a class? Oh, here we go. What's, never mind. Oh, I should probably put some of those things so I know whether I want to spot. Okay, she's level three. Which means I guess she has 150 hit point or XP. No, 95. 95 XP? 95 XP. 150 is to get to level four, I think. Choose three perks, right? Yes, three. Yeah, one one fifty is to get to level four. Okay. Oh, as I was learning about my new character, I realized that I'm going from having like the hand of awesome for like not going exhausted to a hand that goes exhausted really quickly. So Name it. it's going to be like the opposite problem that I had before. Yeah. How many can you hold? I can hold nine and one of my cards does let me get lost cards back, but most of my cards are summons. So then I'm like working with a much smaller hand because, it, well, I'm going to have to learn like how many summons to have out at a time, basically. Because if I put out all of my summons, then my hand size is three. And that'll go away pretty fast. So So for anyone who is just watching this, watching Mark do math, I've decided to play as a summoner, which I unlocked in our last one because my, because Tilo finally retired. Yay. Yay. And Mark also retired. So he's playing as Valerie. Sadly, they look very similar. So this is going to be super fun to try to pay attention to which one is which. <laughs> 
And um, so I'm playing as a summoner, which means that I get to summon lots of pets, which is totally my jam. Um, I always play as like rangers and druids and things, so I'm excited. Um, unfortunately, apparently this is one of the hardest classes to play, like the tinker that everybody told me was a bad idea before. So we get to watch Melissa struggle with the character again. Yay! <laughs> what? Well, now might be the time where we decide to each play two characters. Would that be too crazy? It, well, it's going to add a lot of enemies. That was the one thing that I wasn't thinking about when we talked about it, is that like suddenly we'll have more enemies. Mm. But I don't know that it will actually help. I don't know. I'm pretty excited because I seem to have, I seem to have a summon for every, for every scenario, like every type of thing. I've got tanky ones and fast ones and one that explodes. I have a slime that has a shield. Like I've got lots of good options here. So as long as I am careful and don't exhaust myself we should be good okay although i should warn you that all of my numbers are really really high huh. mine are pretty so, high as well i'm going to be going last a lot okay Add perks. Okay. Um, should I buy items? Probably. Oh, you didn't do the scenario, the scenario, ignore scenario effects perk. I don't have it. That's not an option for you? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that stinks. Oh, yeah, I, sorry, I didn't scroll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can scroll down. Uh, wow, those are way better than what I've chosen. Um, yeah, let me undo some of these things. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I looked for. I was like, I need that one. <laughs> Because playing with curse cards is terrible. Okay, so I'm going to get... What perks did I pick? Oh, so my character's name is Dactyla now. Is now is what? Dactyla. Dactyla? Dactyla. That's yeah. one of my standard names that I use for like every character that I make. I also have this one, ignore negative item effects and add two plus one cards. Hmm. What would be an example of a negative item effect? Um, one of the ones where they like, um, there's there's items where you have to like add a curse card. Shoot. Really? I was looking at one of them before. The yeah, this one. So like the hide armor, you have to add two minus one cards to your deck. Huh. So if you had gear that had a negative effect. Right. Oh, I also determined, for those of you watching at home that did not hear this conversation, I fi figured out that I can have more than one summon. So apparently we were playing with the super hard don't summon everything rules. Though Melissa and Mark forgot to double check that before. <laughs> There's so many options now for what to buy here. For sure. I bought... Those robes of summoning you found last time. Yeah. Does that mean it's no longer available for me? 
I sure I think it. so. Okay. But do you have lots of summons? No, I have no summons. Okay. The main name Hermione is asking you questions. What? There was a something popped up on your on the phone. Oh. It's gone now. I turned notifications <laughs> off. That didn't work. <laughs> and then I also took the weighted net as my like so that lets me immobilize things. Mm. And then I ran out of money, so I only got two things. Yeah. There's Considering two that my last character had that cloak of pockets of like 1,100 things it could use, I am feeling very sad. I don't even have a potion or anything. I ran out of money. I think I'm going to get nothing because I want to see how she plays first, you know? Oh, okay. She definitely has more hit points than I do. I'm squishy. I don't, I think I'm squishier than I was before even. I think at level three, no, maybe not. Now I'm the same level of squishiness that I was before. So. So this hide armor on the next two sources of attacks. Gain shield minus negative one card. So like if I had this, I wouldn't mm -hmm. get that negative one card. Mm -hmm. There's gain shield twice. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it though. Yeah, I ended up deciding that that was not worth it. But there's some further on. Where'd it go? Not the skull ring. Oh, so like the chain mail, which is similar to the hide, it you get three minus one cards. So basically the heavy armor makes you not hit as hard. It protects you better, but Maybe I'll get a, oh, whatever. I won't get anything yet. I'm saving my money. Okay. Done. Okay, so um, we went and got an artifact and then we severed its ties to some shadow world or something, because uh, Hale teleported us to some other plane of existence mm -hmm. without warning us first. And then um, we successfully severed it, got back, and she's like, before it got severed, I was detecting that it was powering something at three different locations. Something or powering like three different things at three different locations or whatever. And then the power got cut, but she knows she was able to uh, locate where those three different locations are. And so we have three different scenarios open to us to go and check out what was what was using that artifact's power. And um, we've chosen to do the first one, which is called the Doom Trench. <laughs> um, so that's, which is underwater. That's the dealio. I should point the camera to the beginning of the map. Um, wow, that's like terrible. Um, okay, so we have to do a city event and then a random event and then we start the scenario. Oh, and we need new, we, we're going to need uh, a random um, goal for the scenario, but we also need random character quests that determine when we retire. I, I already did mine. I already picked one. Okay. I was really excited that I got to roll a new character. 
how are you going to let me know which one you picked if I don't pick the same we, one? We decided at the beginning that it would work, that the chances of us both picking the same one were not high because it's a, because of the size of the deck. I think. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I found both of them. Do you want me to do it again? We can do it again. Wait, so I think what happened was I showed you two random ones and put those aside so that I wouldn't draw them. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I don't I couldn't remember how we did it, so I just did it. The same way the same way that we're doing the the scenario. Okay. So the one that you completed already, which one was that one? That one was Eternal Wanderer. Okay. So Eternal Wanderer and Lawbringer are no longer in the deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your two are these guys. Can you see that? Uh, yes. Okay, and now I'm putting them, I'm basically burying them so I don't draw them. These guys. Wow. Okay. Did we show or no? I feel like. I think we did show. I won't look. Okay. This is the one I've decided to do. And there you have it. Wow. Do you hate yours? I don't hate them. They're gonna be... Ooh, I'm gonna go get another drink. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so for those of you watching at home, these were mine. Um, I, one of them requires me to go to six different side missions, which I don't know if we're doing very often. Um, the other one requires me to get 15 check marks from these cards. And Are you was, just like monologuing? I was explaining to the audience which cards I have, but now you're back, so I can't talk anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need me to go away again? Look away. I'm choosing this one. Okay. Okay. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine were mine were one that was gonna take like literally forever, and the other one was less forever, but still pretty forever. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm excited about this character. <laughs> All right, so we have we have new characters. Um, do we want to read their flavor text to the audience? I don't think we did last time. We just were excited. Okay. What if we did a one sentence overview? Okay. I guess we sort of already done that. My mine's basically Valerie. The uh, she's a sun keeper, uh, which basically in D and D terms, she's a paladin. Mine is an Aether Summoner. So she's like Hale. She doesn't really exist on this plane. And she um, brings random monsters back from other planes to help her fight, which is totally my jam. So Love she's that. like, uh, 
Yeah, he's kind of like a like a uh, a warlock kind of a thing, like summoning skeletons and stuff. Except it's not skeletons; it's like random things. Mm -hmm. There's that. Um, there's that uh, toy cartoon with the toy with those balls that transform into. Oh, um, like Pokemon. Not Pokemon. I forgot what they're called, but. Um, that's what you're like. You summon things from <laughs> these other planes. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so city event. So I guess the two previous adventures are like three more things for Hale. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> the previous adventurers are tired of Hale. <laughs> okay, and we have two new gung ho people who are young like, and excited they don't really <laughs> okay event number 16 stop struggling you're coming with me and there's nothing you can do about it ahead of you in the street you see a pair of guards scuffling with a young boy dressed in rags you snatch purses you go to the ghost fortress no way around that but my family is starving the boy cries you recognize his voice from some of your dealings in the sunken market He's giving you helpful tips for mercenary work on a number of occasions. Do we intervene on his behalf or do we let the guards haul the boy away to prison? I think we intervene. I guess so. <laughs> well, if if he's uh he's been helping us out. Yeah, yeah. So that social capital is important. Social capital is important. But I'm also um, kind of like a paladin. I guess I fight for what's right, not for a law. So, so you're you're not a lawful good paladin because a lawful good paladin would totally let him go to jail. Right. No, the character description is basically that they're constantly trying to fight evil and stuff like that, and like prove that they're. Um, people who are compassionate for others <laughs> okay well then your character definitely would not let him get hauled away yeah okay and my character i don't think my character cares either way but we'll back you up okay because she's an easter like hail so like we pay 10 collective gold you and Entreat the guards to let the boy go, but they are unmoved. With further pressing, they agree to do so only if you pay his criminal fine. The guards cut the boy's ear and set him free. So here's the issue: I have no gold. Well, then I have to lose ten gold. Um, we add city event seventy to the deck. Cool. And we destroy this card. Okay, add seventy. The event I think in this is okay. Continue. I don't know if this if I'm doing this right. I don't know. I don't know how to make that work. Add card. Here we go. Add card. Seventy. Okay, we added card seventy to the deck, and I have to move ten gold from my character. What happens if we had no gold? If we had no gold, I think that they just took him away, and nothing happened. Hmm. Well, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> For once. <laughs> okay, road event. We don't have to do one. It's linked to Gloomhaven. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I guess we could do one if we wanted to. I think we shouldn't. Canceling this. Let's just get into the scenario. No, we still have to do this bit. Yeah. We have to read the scenario introduction and all that stuff. That too.
Okay. Um, maybe we should read the scenario introduction before doing this stuff because it might affect which one we choose, right? Well, scenario 37. Mm -hmm. Level two. Level two. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Those are the wrong people, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. I guess that doesn't, does it matter? Not really. Yeah, I'm, I'm not using this thing to keep track of hit points or anything like that. Just turn so it on. it doesn't matter. Okay, these are your two. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Okay, I'm doing this one. Okay. Um, boom trench. Boom trench. You stare at the first location on Hale's map. Out in the middle of the ocean, far beneath the waves. Of course it is. Hey, we're getting a nice introduction to Hale. Um, <laughs> we got, wait, so do we have water breathing? Uh, we do have water breathing because the party had water breathing. So I guess that we still have water breathing. It's, I guess it's just these little globes that we throw into our throat. Yeah, I guess, I guess the previous characters were like, here, you're gonna need this. Let me cough it up for you. Here's a basor for you to throw down your own throat. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> it's filtered sewerage so far. You'll be fine. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> <laughs> you look out across the endless misty sea. According to the map, you've arrived at the proper coordinates. Nothing left to do but shove the water breathing orb down your throat and dive into the depths. Using small rocks that emanate light, you sink down into the depths. After a few minutes, the extreme discomfort of breathing through the orb gives way to a mere mild annoyance, and still you descend. Wait, we're gonna get um, the bends. Yeah, the bends. <laughs> I was gonna say rickets, so that's not the right thing. <laughs> uh, you hit the bottom of the trench, and shadowy figures emerge from the murky waters, guardians of whatever you are looking for, no doubt. Last thing you want to do right now is fight, but you must press on. Interesting. Special rules. Add three curse cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. We don't have to do that. Okay. Escape occurs when all characters are either standing on an exit A, so at the end, or have become exhausted while standing on an exit. If any character becomes exhausted while not occupying an exit, the scenario is lost. Ooh, so we both have to survive. Well, we both have to get to the end. Yeah. And stand on those, like... Wait, so the all characters must escape through exit A. So it's just a mad dash. Pretty much. If we If we could, we could just, like, run all the way through. We could try. I I am slightly well. I am slightly more mobile. This character is slightly more mobile than the last character, but only slightly. Your summons are decoys for us, hopefully. Mm -hmm. My character is not nearly as mobile as the scoundrel, as you can imagine. Um, there's also a treasure chest which we may want to get, although I don't have. I don't have nearly as good abilities of getting it. Like I have no way of disarming those traps. I don't know if you do. <laughs> You're not. 
Okay, we'll see how this goes. So, uh, where do you want to stand? Where Where is your character starting? Okay, wait. Which one's mine? Yours is the one with the hammer. So they're like kind of opposite. Like they each they each have their weapon to the opposite side. Right. I've got a shield and hammer. Yeah, and I've got a staff and I'm holding my hand out for some reason. Probably to grab people from other realms to fight for me. I guess front and center. Okay. And uh, I'll just go like behind the stalact, not, mm, yeah, behind the stalactite, but not all the way in the back. Yeah. Okay. We have to do with two lurkers and a deep terror. These lurkers are terrifying, by the way. Did you look at them closely? It's like a crab. <clears throat> this is not. It's like a crab, but like a centaur, crab, lobster, human thing. Right. Super right. creepy. <laughs> In an elite deep terror. So, um, the crab dudes have target two and pierce. Mm -hmm. The doesn't have anything special. Oh, no, retaliate one. Retaliate. But retaliate again is like just when you're next to it, I think. It doesn't have range, so. Mm -hmm. like I can add characters. Add. We have I had to um, just hit where the question marks were. They let me put them in. Okay. I think I got the right ones. Yeah. Um, and remove There. There we go. So are you kind of tanky at all or no? I'm a little a little bit tanky. Okay. And I have a little bit of heals. And I use a lot of the, the light energy. Okay. Do I make any light energy? I do not. I sort Sorry, of, I don't make, I any make it light. myself. Sort of. I can make it myself um, in some occasions. Well, let's just see how this goes. Not that one. Stay tuned as we totally do not do well on this scenario. <laughs> right. We have to like. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Not that one. How much are you ranged and how much are you melee? Um, so I don't have very many attacks. Mostly I am, mostly my summons do all the attacking and I just sort of like support them and move them around and things like that. Um, my attacks though, in, in general, are range three. When, so I have, when I have one. Maybe you should be in front. Because you need to like run up and then summon something, right? So the goal is to go last so that they don't get to hit my summon before my summon's done anything. Okay. So Truthfully, maybe I want to be on the other side. No, I need to like stay slightly back. I don't know though, because I have some pretty good movement cards. Like I have some like running ahead cards. I can even jump a little bit.
Uh, I'm just going to see how this goes, I guess. I'm going to do that, I guess. <laughs> this is like episode one again, where we try to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> Ooh, that's neat. <laughs> that's going to be us this whole time. Like, ooh, that's a cool thing that I picked. <laughs> okay, I have 56. I have 82. Ooh, boy. <laughs> we're just not, we're not. Melee DPS anymore. Okay, the lurkers are moving first. They move three and attack two. So um, this guy, I guess, moves one, two, three next to me and attacks me for two. Uh, yeah, and you're not within range, so he only attacks me. Um, Times two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's four points on me. <laughs> I have 14. So now I have 10. I am not a healer anymore. So that's on you now. OK. I'm, uh, I'm not even close to The other guy <laughs> moves three. Uh, one, two, I guess three right here behind him. Can't hit you though, because does not have range. Right. And then the other, the deep terror just sort of flails about. Attack range four. We're not within range. Yeah, that's the, remember, those are the guys that don't move like ever, uh, but they like mm. throw things at us. Okay, my turn. Um. I'm going to attack this guy for five. Just shuffle this. The guy that's next to you, yeah? Yeah. Okay, five and a whiff. <laughs> and I'm gonna um, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna move here and stun this guy. Okay. So this guy is stunned. That's cool. And now it is your turn. OK. I am going to move and jump. One, two, three, four. So that I'm kind of like directly in between the two of them. So I'm like two from each. Jump? Yeah, I jumped. It's exciting, huh? Yeah, okay. At all. And then I'm going to summon two shadow wolves. Um, one on either side of me. That's right, two shadow wolves. And they have pierce and stuff. Wait, where are you? How did you? Oh, you're right here. Yep, yep. that? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And that is my turn. They don't do anything because they are, we're just summoned. Unfortunately, I'm going to get attacked, not you, not them, if you have really high initiative. <laughs> you're going to have to be like, you're, you're like literally tanking, I guess, because you're pulling the aggro and then 
Just standing there and healing yourself. Can you do that? <laughs> myself. Um, That's going to be super boring, though. That whiff was unfortunate. <laughs> that was my highest damage card. Oh, I need to pay attention to whether or not... Because I do a lot of playing with elements, so I need to actually pay attention to elements now. I hear you, girl. My dog does not enjoy elements either. Oh, I, I created a light element with that stun, by the way. Okay, cool. Does this let me put my summons on? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I can put my summons on the app too. Oh, cool. That makes life easier. No, wait. And then what's the other one? Blue, three. Cool. Okay. I need to actually pick cards now. Yeah. Um, in the future, when you summon guys, like, uh, it's okay now, but like in the future, try to summon them so that they're standing next to me because <laughs> I can do stuff to adjacent allies. Oh, okay. Sweet. I was just trying to like get stuff behind these guys, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got eighty-five. <laughs> I've got twenty-five. Ooh. So you first. This uh, oh, no. this uh, deep terror is going to shoot in a line, so don't stay where you are. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I wasn't planning to move though. All right, so first my guys go. Um, so they move up close to each of. Well, let's just do the this guy first. Okay. Actually, they each move one. Um, so then this guy attacks the deep terror for two. Where did I lose my deck to? Plus one, so he attacks the deep terror for three. Deep terror. Oh, he gets hit for one because retaliate. Hmm. Which guy is that? And then this guy attacks I guess it doesn't matter which one because neither of them has health off. All right. Well, but this guy's stunned. I don't know if that matters. It doesn't really. All right. He attacks with the stunned guy, I guess, for also for two plus zero. So he attacks that guy for two. It's for two. Number five. And then. I'm kind of sad because my plan did not go as planned, but that's okay. So then I'm going to attack the deep terror for two times two is four. So the deep terror is now dead, dead. And oh, okay. So then that means I can do what I actually wanted to do which is I am shielding myself and all summoned allies. And uh, that, that does a uh, um, green, that does a leaf. Okay. And that's it, that is my turn. There's a leaf and there's a sun. 
Um, okay, the crab dudes uh, move and attack. They don't need to move. Uh, this guy is stunned, so he does nothing. Now he is no longer stunned. This guy attacks your summoned wolf for one plus negative one for zero points. Uh, now my turn. I am uh, attacking, using up the sun energy um, for five and with advantage. So it's plus one or plus one. So it's six points. Um, oh shit, I forgot to announce who. Uh, the guy who we've been wailing on. Cool. Um, and I get an XP. And then my second thing. I am just going to move, I think. I don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> I am not doing anything for my second move. Okay. Next round. How many bad guys we got coming up? Fair numbers still. Okay. I'm thinking about trying to move into the next room. Okay. Especially since I have a fairly small hand now, I, I, Kind of need to hurry, I think, to get to the end. Keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna try to move also. I have 85. I have 86. Ooh. Oops. 86. 85. I was hoping it would last. <laughs> um, oh, you put it in at five, at si five and six. I see. Oops. Let's just redo that. Eight, five. Eight, six. Okay, they are gonna not do the top thing because there's no frost thing. Otherwise, they would strengthen themselves. They're a move and attack. They don't need to move, but they're gonna do wound also. The attack is gonna be against me because I have lower initiative. So this guy attacks me for one times two, so it attacks me for two, plus I have wound. So I have eight hit points and a wound. Ooh. That's lucky. Wound, which one's wound? The orange one. I think it looks like you're on fire, but apparently that's not what that means. The other guy also attacks me and hits for one point. So I now have seven and I'm wounded. And now it's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna attack this guy. Uh, with three, I guess, plus a muddle. Okay. Three plus zero, he's dead. Dead. Now I'm going to move. 
One, two, three, four. Cool. And now it's your turn. All right, so this shadow wolf that's right next to him tries to hit for two and whiffs. Ridiculous. Disappointed in you, son. And then my other shadow wolf moves, oh, he can move three. One, two, three, back towards that guy. So the shadow wolves are gonna like rear guard for us, I guess. And then um, I'm moving five. One, two, three, four. Open the door. Um, let's see, we've got this guy. One of these guys again. Oh, and another one of those guys. Over there. So two two crowd guys and a uh, whatever. Living Post thing. guy. Um. So what is that? One six and. Oh, so much retaliation. Blech. Oh, this guy's dead. Dead. Okay. Um, I'm going to move one more into the room. Well, before you do that, you should see what he's doing. Oh, he's yeah. Move and attack in a line. If there was dark, he would heal himself. If there's no dark, and he's not hurt anyways. So he's going to move and attack up to three spaces away, so. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna move back into the room, like behind the door. Not behind the door, but like out of the doorway. Like right. Yeah, so that I'm not, so that he can't get in line with me. And then I'm going to summon my slime spirit. Yeah. And he has shield and muddle, which is cool. I'm going to put him, how far away can he hit? Four. Well, he's going to move one and then hit up. Uh, okay. three, I'm going to put him on the loot. My slime spirit. Yeah, if you put him on the loot, he'll be fine. OK, yeah, I'm putting him on the loot. OK. And that is my turn. Okay. I'm gonna need to rest soon though. I'm starting to run out of cards here. The crab dudes that got revealed, they get to go, right? Yes. Okay, so this guy goes first. He's gonna move one here, shoot there not for nothing, because no, no, no one's in, the, in range. These two crab dudes are gonna move three. So this guy's gonna go one, two, three. And this guy's gonna go one, two, three. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Man, now they're like blocking everything. I know. AOE. I don't do AOE anymore. <laughs> now I summon things. <laughs> But my slime guy has two shields, so he's going to be, as long as they are not hitting for, you know, six at a time, which I don't think that they are, he'll be okay. I only have one heal card, apparently. Isn't that good? You're I'm supposed gonna, to be like a healer. I'm going to be taking damage every turn until I get that card back in my hand. Are you? Because my wolves are blocking him. No, I have a wound. Oh, right. And you don't have a healing potion or anything. Shoot. Yeah, I opted not to buy anything. Okay, note to self, buy healing potion.
Yeah, I have to do a sh either a short rest or a long rest after this turn. Probably not a long rest because there's three guys right there, but. This is what I'm going to do. I've got My computer's gonna go to sleep. No. Uh, I've got 23. I have 92. Okay, the crab dudes first. They're gonna shield themselves up, uh, wound anyone who's adjacent. Nobody's adjacent. This guy's adjacent to one of your shadow wolves. Oh, okay. He's going to get wounded then. Um, the other guys don't do anything. Then it's my turn. I'm going to move three. One, two, three. And I'm going to... Is this guy going to attack? Is that what he does? Or does he just... What is he, what's his role? He um, mostly is a shielder, but he he will attack and muddle. So he'll like slime their faces. Okay, well, I'm gonna bless and strengthen him. Cool. So bless is... Uh... What does that mean? <laughs> he gets a, a bless card in the in the deck, right? Yeah, but he uses my deck. Right. So is that what that means? Do you get a bless card then? Gain bless attack modifier card. Yeah, I don't I know if that I don't know if you can bless my okay. summon. Well, okay, I'll bless and strengthen you then. Okay. Hopefully you're attacking. <laughs> yeah, I was planning to attack. Okay, you are oh. now blessed and strengthened. Yay, blessing. I'll do some uh, shuffling again. Um, and I take a wound, or I take a hit point of damage. So you're down to six now? Yes. Okay, this guy is going to move to and attack one, one, two, attack no one because no one's next to him. Okay. Your turn. Okay. So I'm going to start with the shadow wolves over here. Um, so the purple guy, he takes one damage because he's wounded. He hits for... How much do they hit for? Two. So he tries to hit this guy for two. Plus one, he hits for three. Which one is that guy? One, two, three. And then the blue one goes one, two over so that he's also next because they do not have range. And he also tries to hit for two. Plus zero, so he also hits that guy for two. So they're keeping him busy at least. Yep. And then my slime guy is going to move one into the doorway. And he is going to try to hit this guy and muddle him for one. Hit for one and muddle. Did I give myself? I did not. Um, so he hits for plus one. So he hits for two and muddles him. Oops, what's that? 
And muddled. What does muddled do? It's a disadvantage, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So he's disadvantaged on his next turn. Okay. Well, so now uh, my turn. Which one is muddle? Muddle is the one, the question marky one. Okay. Okay. So Wait, he has to retaliate, right? Does Did he have to retaliate? He does. He has retaliate of two, but my slime has a shield of two, so it doesn't matter. Oh, awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to attack him for two and make the fire thing go on. Okay, fire. So plus zero, so he's attacked for two more, but he can't retaliate because I'm around the corner. I'm out of range for retaliation. Mm -hmm. Did you draw two cards because you're... Um, didn't. I am. It's plus zero or plus zero. So either way, two. And now I am. So that was that card. I am summoning a thorn shooter behind my slime on that loot again. Man, there really is no limit. <laughs> really no limit. It said that my turns will take forever because I have to like move all my dudes. And I have a card that lets me move all of the dudes within a certain range. Like I have, my turns are going to take forever. Okay, okay, so I'm summoning the thorn shooter. Uh, trying to pay attention to what color and everything. And he has just one and two of those. And then four range. Nice. Okay, and he poisons too. So he's like, he's pretty epic. And that is my turn because my thorn shooter doesn't get to go. Okay. But I have to take a short rest because I'm down to one card. <sighs> Darn it. Okay, oh well. That's okay. I've got 55. Hold on half a second. Let me see what I've got. Was that the one that, no, it wasn't. Um, I have 25. Okay, the Harrower Infester is going first. He's attacking four and immobilizing your Slimer. And he now has Retaliate four. But he's muddled. So attack four um, with a minus one or a whiff. Yay, think, whiffs. Completely whiffs. So the immobilize does also doesn't take effect because he just completely whiffed, right? Great, great. That's what we decided. But he does have big retaliate, so that's no fun. Yeah, he, he retaliate four, but now it's your turn. Now it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Shadow Wolf one takes another hit because he's still wounded. And I'm not healing him because he's way back there. So he tries to hit this guy for two, minus one. So he hits for one. Then the other shadow wolf also tries to hit for two and he whiffs. So they're basically just holding that guy in place. They're doing nothing and <laughs> such just making that guy hold still. Mm -hmm. um, and then my slime guy hits, tries to hit uh, the harrower guy for one plus two. So he hits for three. That's nice. But he gets, he gets retaliated. But he's oh, got but his shield. shield. Right? Hmm? You have a shield. Yeah, but it's only two shields, so he takes two hit points. Two two damage. Uh-huh. Which one is he? I'm trying to pay attention to which one they all are. Okay, and then my thorn shooter 
Wait, will this guy retaliate against my slime when it's the thorn shooter that is going to do the damage? I don't think so. Okay. So the thorn shooter is going to try to shoot him for um, two points and poison. Plus zero. So he did. Instead of poison. And now I get to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to shoot around the corner at this guy for two plus one for three. So this first guy takes three damage. And then I'm going to shoot around the corner at him again for two minus one. So just one more damage. Which one are you? And that's my turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to move four. One, two, three, four. And attack. Um, I guess I'll attack the guy that we, we've been, you've been attacking. Okay. And I generate a light. Okay. Uh, and I attack for four plus one. Five points. He's dead. Dead. Uh, that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> my turns take forever. Your turns don't take very long. <laughs> um, so this guy is going to not move, but attack three. Uh, one of them's wounded, right? Yeah. I guess I'll attack that same guy. Okay. Three plus zero, three points. Okay, he's dead. Which one was it? Um, the one directly in front of him. Red on yours. Okay. Dead. Sorry, we'll is gonna move two, doesn't need to move. Attack me for three, minus one. Attack me for two. Oh, I forgot to take damage, so I'm actually down three. I have three hit points. You should probably heal yourself. It can't. It's in the, my deck here. You should probably take a short rest then and get it back. Yeah. That's all I do. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> I can't help. Can I? I don't think I can help. Oh, I could have helped you on that last turn, but then I would have had to do things very differently. I could have healed you three, but then I would have ended up doing a totally different thing that wouldn't have killed two, you know. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's next round. Okay. The healing of a wound just removes the wound, right? I no, the wound is one that you get to, to also heal yourself. Oh, okay. But poison, you can only take off poison. And then a long rest will heal two hit points, but doesn't get rid of wound, right? I don't remember. I think it. I think that it still it counts as a heal. Because if that's true, I should just do a long rest. Right in front of this dude. Yeah, I mean, I think you, you can take him on. <laughs> I don't. Where this stink is low resting.
Yeah, so you perform a heal to self action. So it would get rid of your wound to do a long rest. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. How many hit points does this guy right in front of you have? Nine. But he won't be attacking me. He'll be attacking you because my initiative will be 99 as long as one of your guides gets within adjacent to him. Can the slime guy not move too? The slime guy cannot move to wait. Yes, he can. Never mind. Never mind. I was looking at his hitting and not at his moving. He can get there. Okay. He'll save you. Okay, so then I need to go like early. Yeah, not late. Right. Can do it. I don't know which car to get rid of. Do these crab guys have retaliate? No, that was the other guy. Okay, I have 13. Okay. Yeah, 38. Okay, so let's get started. Starting with my wolf. <laughs> Um, over here. He's going to try to hit this guy for two times two. So he hits this guy for four. So that guy is dead. Dead. Ooh. Now the slime guy is going to move three. One, two. Actually, nope. He's only going to move two. One, two. Onto that loop. Okay. And he is going to hit and muddle for one, plus one, hit and muddle for two, one, two, and muddled. And then my uh, thorn shooter is going to move into the doorway and shoot and poison for two. Times two for four and poisoned. Wow. Two, three, four, and poisoned. And then I am going to shield everybody, except for you, unfortunately, because I didn't summon you. I'm shielding all my summons. Everybody's got shield. Okay. And the green went on the um, leaf. And then I am going to attack the air because I can't do anything else. So, Okay. He's going to move, but not move, and attack the slime guy for two. But he's got a muddle, so he's drawing twice. Yep. So it's either a whiff or a plus one, so it'll be a whiff. Okay. And he had lots of shield anyway, so he was going to be fine no matter what. Okay, and then I'm doing my long rest, so I heal two hit points, get rid of my wound. I have to do a short rest again. Um, and I got rid of the card. All right, short rest again. Oh man. <sighs> Me, oh my, this is interesting. I feel like this character is easier to play than the Tinker so far. Got a lot more options, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, it doesn't feel like it though because I, because I have a way smaller deck in comparison. Mm -hmm. so I'm having to be fairly careful, but you know, I've got three guys out right now. I also think though that if you, so if you're not used to playing a, a character where you're commanding a bunch of other characters, I guess, weak characters, this could be really hard because you wouldn't know like how to deploy them and stuff. But this is literally, you know, if I'm not playing, I, I play a lot as characters that have like turrets or minions. So to me, this is like my bread and butter right here. Okay. 
She says immediately before an, a complete party wipe. <laughs> um, I'm at 85. I have 94. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to go last here. Sorry. I'm not sure you're going to go last very often. So. How much life do you have now? You healed. Oh, hey. The previous round, he was supposed to target both of us because he's got target two. Oh. But he whiffed. Oh, but we didn't pull a card for you. Right. So he whiffed on your guy, and then and then I'll just draw two cards right now. Minus one and uh, whiff. <laughs> um, yeah, because he's muddled, so or was muddled, so. Yeah. So he didn't do anything. Okay. Except that that whiff wouldn't be in the deck. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Just, um, <laughs> he's still poisoned, though. Yeah. Okay, but now on his turn, he's going to move, but not move. He's going to attack, uh, target one enemy with all attacks. So he's attacking me twice. Wait, why is he? Oh, because he's got target two. Yeah. So attacking me times two, so that's four points of damage. Well, oh, except it's muddled, so it's actually plus zero. So it's two points of damage. And then the other one is plus one or plus zero. So four points total. Okay. I one that, changes I was, that changes what I was going to do, but I will help. <laughs> uh, I have one hit point. Um, so I am going to heal myself for three. Okay. So then I'm going to move two right here and bless. I, I want to bless your summon guy, but I guess we determined I can't bless summon guys. I don't think you can because they don't have their own deck. Does Do that... I only get to use the bless once? It doesn't say to take it away. Okay. I'll read this bless thing. Bless. Where would it be? It's on page 22 or 23. Okay, we removed the bless at the end of the, so now I've got to pull that bless that you blessed me with out. And reshuffle because I just saw my deck. So I get to be, I get to use the bless card once when you bless me. How far away can you bless? Did you use it already? Mm -hmm. Oh, so it came, actually came up. That's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, I can only bless adjacent. Oh. This is adjacent ally. Um, Where's the rule? Like, where does it say summon? Summons? Have, okay, never mind. I think, so maybe I'm wrong, but I think I can bless them and it would just get added to your deck. Okay. I'm on board with that, but like it just, the summons are such a weird thing because they're kind of like a monster. Yeah, but so bless is just like add a bless card to the attack modifier deck of the thing that you've blessed. Yeah, we just share it. So it's kind of like you blessed all of us. Yeah. 
which I don't know. I mean, I guess the question is, does this, is a summoned character or a summoned monster, does that count as an ally? Because my card says, bless an adjacent ally. I have a thing about... Is the, is the word ally on the, I have a card that targets any ally I have summoned, so I guess it does count as an ally, an ally that I have summoned. I mean, it makes sense to me from a D&D &D perspective that you should be able to bless my guys. It's mm -hmm. just because we share the deck that makes it weird. Right. I think we've found a way to game the system, <laughs> which we should be rewarded for. <laughs> OK, I'm on board. You want me to put a bless card back in? Yeah. So I just blessed your uh, the, the Slimer. Did you strengthen him too, or just bless him? No, yeah, just bless. OK. OK, now it's your turn. All right, so first my wolf is trying to catch up. So how far does he go? Three, one, two, three. He's trying to catch up. Um, then my Slimer guy um, hits for, hits this guy for one and tries to muddle him. So hits him for one and muddles him. Oh wait, hits him for two because he's poisoned and muddles him. And then my thorn shooter guy doesn't have to move because his range is four. So he, he tries to hit for three and poison again, plus two. So that guy is super dead, dead. Okay, so then Well, this is n no fun. Because you got out of range. All right, so one, two, and I am going to summon a living bomb now because <laughs> I don't have enough random characters out there. Uh, away when you summon them? Huh? The cards don't go away. No, they just hang out here. I can't play them again, but um, yeah, they just hang out. You're not going to run out of cards? Oh, I'm really close to running out of cards, but don't worry. I have a plan. So I summon my living bomb. Okay. But I mean, maybe we should, you should summon him after we open this door. Oh, that's a good point. I will save him. You five it, turns for your bomb to get over there. He's pretty fast, but you're right because his, like, when they kill him, which they killed him quickly because he's only got one hit point, basically he's, you send him in to be a bob -omb. He's bob -omb. And then he goes, um, okay, so yeah, there we go. Somebody's doing their best um, words that I can't think of anymore about sex bob -omb. They're here to sell out and stuff. They're here to sell out and stuff. Anyway, um, so that's my turn. Done. Okay. Next round. Do you have any way of getting rid of traps? I do not. Do you want to sacrifice yourself and step on a trap? <laughs> not really. <laughs> but this chest might be worth it. I know, but I'm also running low on cards. And so going all the way over to get the chest not super exciting because then we might lose the scenario entirely i guess so i can't afford the hit point loss i don't think how much are these traps they're immobilize and then trap damage and trap damage right now we're at level two so trap damage is four so yeah that would kill you yeah that would kill me <laughs> <laughs> Okay, onward, I guess. Onward, yep. I mean, I guess it could take a long rest. 
I have so many cards in my hand, though. Do you have cards in your discard? I have two cards in my discard. But I have a, I have a plan. I'm not about to go exhausted. Okay. But then I might need help in a little while. <laughs> All right, we're going to try something tricky. Okay. Have uh, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I have uh, twenty nine. I have twenty nine. Okay, I have thirteen. I guess. Thirteen. Thirteen. Did we decide that if there are no bad guys around, that summons just stand around stupidly? Yeah. Okay, so my summons all stand around stupidly, and then. I play this card, which lets me recover up to four of my lost cards. And when I was reading about it, they said that you could do that and pick up your summons as well. So I'm picking up these two lost cards from over here. Pop. And I'm picking up my shadow wolves. Go over here, shadow wolves. And I'm picking up my thorn shooter because it's super slow and it will not keep up with us. And then uh oh, what did I do? So that is now. Your does your character control directly your summons? Um, I have a card that lets me do some direct control of my summons, but in general, my summons just play by monster okay. rolls. And then um, the other card was useless, so it's just put that there. So there we go. So now I'm back up to a few cards. All right, my uh, turn, I'm going to um, allow one ally within range three to move four. So you can move four spaces. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four. Like between the traps, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then I am moving five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay. That's awesome. And Uh, I'm going to do a long rest so I can heal up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I have 51. Um, and I have 99. Okay. Okay. I'm going to move into the doorway. One, two, three, four. Doorway. And so we've got two of these guys. Oop. Two of these guys. Oh, damn. I did that wrong. <laughs> One of these dudes again. And. One more of these guys, like way up here. So we've got two, five, and one. And four. Oh man, they all have retaliate. Okay, and then um, I am summoning my iron beast. You want to see what they all are going to be doing before you place them? Yes, before I place him, absolutely. Okay, I think I have the board right. I can't tell because it's off screen. Is that too close? No, I can see. That's good. 
Okay, so one of the deep terror is number eight. Oh, I'm also healing my slime for two. Okay. This terror is number the regular one at least this time. Three. He's Maybe good. I should have pulled my slime spirit. He's way behind now. Oops. Right. So we have three of these terror dudes and one harrower, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, are you done with your turn? Well, I need to uh, figure out where I'm going to put. Right. So this guy will be um, attacking at range three. Okay. And then the other two guys. They're going to be attacking at range four. And wound. How much attack are they doing? Attack three, range four, or attack two a adjacent. No one's going to be adjacent. So. No, because they're not moving. Okay. I mean, he's got a shield. Yeah, I would rather he take the hits than me. So I'm going to put him in front of me. Okay. Because he's got a shield. Okay. Okay, next one. Yep. Okay, so this guy. Oh, wait, I forgot to make this guy move. One. Does he move, or did I already make him not move because the door wasn't open yet? The door wasn't open yet. He okay, goes, he's still sitting back there being terrible. Yep. <laughs> um, this guy doesn't move, and his range is three, one, two, three, so it's not within range, so he does nothing. Okay. Um, the terrors uh, attack adjacent, no one's adjacent, and then they attack at range four, which is this guy. So both of the, these guys attack that guy, this guy does nothing. Okay. So this guy uh, attack three plus zero, three points. Two points because he's got a shield. Okay. And the other guy attack three plus one, four points. So three total. Oh. So he's dead. Well, that was good. At least I didn't take that damage, but goodbye, sir. Yeah. He's not very useful. <laughs> My side just... guy is better. Yes. Just card a card. Okay, next round. I have 85. I have 92. Jeez. <laughs> Were you trying to go last again? Yeah. The harrower is going to move one and then shoot in a straight line. I don't think he can. So he just moves one closer. Okay. 
And then these guys are going to wound and attack people adjacent and then attack three at range four. So uh, they both attack you. Great. Attack three, minus one, two points. OK. And then attack three, minus one, two points. OK, I'm still OK. OK, and then my turn. Uh, geez. <laughs> um, I'm going to heal myself. Or how many hit points do you have? Seven. I'm still OK. OK, well, I'm healing myself then. And then also adding a light to the magic pool. OK. Um, and then I'm going to move one, I guess. I could move two, but you're in the way. So I move one and bless you. Oh, thank you. I don't think I've used the other bless card yet, so. Now you have That's multiple blesses. I'm just going to have an entire pile of blesses. OK. So first, my slime guy who's been left far behind by now. Ooh, I forgot to shovel these ones in, too. He moves up three, one, two, three, just in between those traps again, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, let's see. They've already hit me, so they're not going to hit any guys that I put in yet. So I am going to summon my two shadow wolves again. Right me. Uh, green. They have three health and three move and two hit. And one more. Oops. I finished Monopoly. You finished Monopoly? My mockily. Oh. <laughs> Here. Okay. So those two guys are there. And then um I'm gonna move back into the room a little bit just to give you some space. Since you have a hammer and melee skills and I don't. Mm -hmm. And that is my turn. And I have to do a short rest now or a long rest. Should I do a long rest? My guys would still get to go. They'd just be like very last. I think they would get to go. I don't know. Do my summons get to go if I take a long rest? I think they would. That's interesting. Yeah, it says it's a persistent bonus, so I guess maybe. So yeah, I'm going to take a long rest then. OK. Next round, you've got 99. So you're going last. Those wolves are going last. Um, maybe I can buff them somehow. Yeah, because I'm going to be in trouble soon. I'm down to four cards. And I can't pull out my lost cards again, so. Will you be able to make it to the end? I let me see. I think so. If I do this correctly. I 
can't have to move forward. I can't wait for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna, I have a 23. Okay. Okay, me first. So he's gonna move one, two, attack, target two. E. Oh man, they're gonna summon things? Summon deep terror and a hex adjacent to the target. Ooh, that sucks. Wish we had AOE. I've got my bomb guy that I can summon next turn, but... I think I need a chance just getting hit here. Are we back to the days where we have to play easy mode? I don't know. <laughs> I did really well at first, at least. One, two, three, four. That's not within range. Okay, so I am going to move three. One, two, three, I guess. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to um, hit this guy for two and stun him. Oh, nice. Plus zero, but he's stunned. Number seven. So two points on him. He's got retaliate one, so I take one point of damage. Okay. And but he's stunned. Okay. Stunned. Uh... Oh. Um, okay, so then this guy moves to here, attacks me and a wolf. Okay. Oh. Attacks me plus zero for one point of damage. Attacks a wolf plus zero, one point of damage. Okay. And then this guy doesn't do anything because he's stunned. This guy has an attack one at range six, uh, which is going to be attacking me. Range six plus zero, so one point of damage, and someone's a deep one right next to me. Awesome. We are going to have to play easy mode. This is number nine. Oh, my lordy. And okay. It's your turn, or your, your guys' turn. Okay, so my slime guy goes one, two, three. My. This wolf guy, the one that got hit, tries to hit this harrower guy for two points, minus one, so he hits for one point. Okay, uh, that, guy. that guy has retaliate too. Okay, so my wolf is dead. Bye bye wolf. And then uh, the other wolf tries to hit this Summoned guy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Also for two times two. I got one of my blessed cards. So that guy is dead. Yep. Unfortunately, I hadn't put him out yet. So I hadn't put the thing in, but whatever. There you go. I have it. OK, next round. So I guess now is the time to do a bomb, yeah? Yeah. Is it going to hurt me? Do I need to back off? No, he will not hurt you. Although you might want to back off just so that he takes the damage instead of you. Only if he goes before me. Well, he's got, he doesn't do anything in his first turn. Right. But you would have to go before me then. I mean, they're just gonna. I'll back off. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I could do that.
Does he? So, am I in his way for him to do maximum damage? Like, if he if he went here and blew up, is he only going to affect this guy? No, he hits things within range too. The issue is that my slime guy is going to get in the way before he can get there. So. Hmm. So you need me to move. You need me to move so that you can go here and summon him here, right? Where I am. Uh, yes. Or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't do that one then. Well, we can move through each other at least. So, and you can move through my summons too, I think, since they're technically allies. The question is then going to become whether or not I can make it to the exit. That's where things are going to get hairy. Do you have cards in your discard? Not at the moment, but I will uh, in the next turn. Well, if you, you will if you go before me. Yes, I can go before you. OK, I have 55. Okay, I have 13. Okay, you first. Okay. That maybe I'm in your way now. Yeah. Am I in your way? Well, hold on. My guys are going to move. So, I don't know which one goes first. I think you can decide. All right, I'm going to make my wolf move over to the other side. You are kind of in my way. It's okay, though. Um, so my wolf moves over and tries to hit, hit this harrower guy for two. Um, plus one for three. One, two, three but then he gets retaliated against for two. Mm -hmm. And then my slime moves. Shoot. My slime moves. One, two. You decide any of those three are valid. So, the, yeah, the problem is that he doesn't have range. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the exit. Um, so yeah, he moves up behind you, I guess. And then... Which one? Oh, wait, 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 I've got it figured out. Um, he moves, yeah, he just moves up behind you. Which uh, behind me? This one? Yeah, yeah, that one. You know, he, okay, he, now, he, 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 this is, this might go horribly wrong, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five behind these guys, because I have a jump. And I'm summoning my living bomb directly behind them. Okay. And that's my turn. Yep, that's my turn. Okay. Um, geez, okay. Um, this guy does not move and it instead attacks your wolf and me. So on me, he draws a plus zero, so does three points. 
Are you back down to one again? No, I'm down to three. Okay. I'm the missing deal there, I think. On the wolf, he draws a plus one, so it does four points against the wolf. Okay, but the wolf is dead. Sorry, wolf. Then my turn. Shit. Uh, I can't get to you now to give you your cards back. That's okay. I can. I just have to not die. <laughs> I'm allowed to be exhausted in the end zone, so I'm just planning to get to the end zone and be exhausted. I think my dudes, though, won't do anything once I'm exhausted. I am attacking this guy for four. Okay. Right. He's got, he's the guy who is um, two hit points, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Four minus one is three. So that's dead. Dead. Um, I'm going to move here. Okay. That's it. I guess I get this. I guess I get a loot at least. Okay. Is that going to be bad? Aren't you going to get killed? Hmm? Won't you get killed on the next turn? Maybe. Yikes. Okay. Get over to the thing. The deep terror. Um, attacks me. No, attacks your summon guy. Mm -hmm. um, for three. Whiffs. Misses. No, I needed him to hit. <laughs> this guy also attacks your summon guy. Okay. <laughs> for uh, three hit points. Okay. okay, he just died, which means that he attacks all enemies within range two, which is both of these guys, attacks three. So plus zero on this guy. Dang it. Uh, but that's still three. Does he do anything else? No. Nope. And then the harrower minus one, so two points off of him. Okay. And he's dead, so there's no retaliation. Okay. Good <laughs> job, living bomb thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, next round. Can you get over there? I can, but I can't do like anything else after that. One, two, three. Actually, I get one more turn. I will have one more turn after that. So maybe my my ooze will just like hold the fort. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Does he go exhausted too? So he just like falls over and they don't do anything? I don't know. I've got uh, 23. I have 51. Wait, no, sorry. I have 56. All right, um, I have 51. OK. The Harrower attacks one, range three, muddle, heals himself for four. Well, crap. Um, he doesn't attack me because that would be a uh, disadvantage, right? So he shoots. Well, he also, my guys are lower, lower, my slime guy is lower initiative than you. Right, right, right. So he, he attacks the slime guy. Okay. Wait, uh, plus zero, one point. Okay. Wait, he muddled. has a shield, so. Zero points, but muddled. But muddled, okay. And then heals himself for four. Ew. Um, now it's your turn. Okay, my slime guy moves up next to him and tries to hit him for one. 
and muddle any whiffs so he does nothing, but he's standing there. And then I two, am. Draw two cards, anyways. Draw two cards? Yeah, because of the muddle. Oh, oh, right. Or plus one, but still whiffed because yeah. whiff. Okay, and now I am running for the end zone and making a, a wind one. One, two, three, four, five into the end zone. I can't see your board. Oh, sorry. I'm in the back corner, the back left corner. Yeah, where you have me, that's where I am. And then I don't have anything else to do, so I'm gonna attack the air. And I have to do a short rest at the end of this. Okay. Um, my turn. I'm going to attack. Uh, the herald. You have to stay alive, because if you, if you get exhausted or dead before you get to the end zone. No, I'll be fine. I'm attacking the herald okay. for four um, plus zero. So four. Oh, wait, he's got retaliate. Yeah, that maybe. They both have retaliate, right? Yeah, they both have retaliate. Maybe I'm not attacking. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to attack, actually. <laughs> so screw that. I'm just going to run. Um, OK. <laughs> two, three, four, five. That's also in the end zone, so that's good. Yep, and then. As um, long as we survive at the end of this round. I'm done with my turn. Um, the deep ones attack adjacent guys. They don't do anything, and then attack range three, target two. We're not in range of this guy. But we are in range of this guy, so um, both of us are in range. Mm -hmm. So uh, attack you first, I guess, because you have higher initiative or lower initiative. So attack three. Plus zero. Okay, I can handle that. Um, and then attack me for two points, which I can handle as well. And then we won. And we won. <laughs> <laughs> and we left my slime to be killed. Sorry, slimy. Very interesting. Actually. <laughs> It was it was really good at first, and then like so, all of my cards are lost cards basically. So, right. yeah, and I have one card that will pull four lost cards, but that's just you know I can only do that once. Right. I thought. I mean, I thought you were spamming your summons a little bit too early. I don't know. It got us through the beginning. Yeah, but you almost got exhausted, right? Those are your lost cards. That's true. The issue is that it's the, all the summons are the top. So in some cases, I didn't have another option. I guess I could have just like attacked the air. So I didn't do that. Maybe that's the way to go. Yeah. I don't know. It worked out OK. Yeah. My yeah. thorn shooter guy took out some dudes. Okay. And I did pull him back in. The issue was just that like we got to the end and like, there was no place to put anything. We kind of like blocked ourselves mm -hmm. at the end. Oh, but you know what? I completed my check marks thing. I was not supposed to loot anything, which I didn't do. I did not complete mine. I was supposed to open a door. Oh, but I'm sorry. I opened all the doors. Yeah. <laughs> That's OK. Oh, we got to read the conclusion. Yeah. Uh, you press ever forward, leaving the wretched trench. Looking behind you, you see the figures of more lurkers waiting in the shadows, but they do not pursue. Perhaps they are afraid of whatever lies ahead. You go deeper through a crack in the earth until your path shifts suddenly upward. You emerge from the cold, unforgiving water into an air pocket deep beneath the waves. You spit out your water-breathing orb, grateful to finally breathe normally and take a short rest. Actually, we're going to take a long rest. Um, 
<laughs> ahead of you, you see an expansive cavern, which houses a massive stone structure. This unnatural sight, so far removed from anything you are familiar with, fills you with irrational foreboding dread. Awesome. New location, Lair of the Unseeing Eye. Well, that would be easy to sort of like sneak around if you can't see us. True. And party achievement, Through the Trench. We did get a party achievement. I guess we're doing that one next. And okay, so what do we get for completing it? We get uh, eight XP. And how much is this gold worth? Uh, the gold is worth three. Okay, so change. And then how many XP did I get from all my summons? Ten. Wow. I only got two XP for my special abilities. Yeah, I um my last character was really hard to level up. This one seems like it's gonna be a lot easier. But we did not get the treasure. Nope. Sad. Sad. All right. I should go. I'm glad I didn't detour to try to get the treasure. Yeah. So I was doing it mostly because I didn't. I wanted to get my check marks, but I also I wouldn't have made it if I had stopped to get the treasure. Yeah. Okay, I need to stop because I could, gotta go. Okay. Thanks for playing. We'll schedule the next one soon.